Hey, Todd Barton here with the Barton Real Estate Group. Uh, to my left uh, would be Kyle Santos. Hi. Thanks for being on today. Thank you. So Kyle's an agent on the team. I am. And uh, we're, we're going to talk about one of Kyle's transactions today that's that's uh, turning out to be a bit of a challenge. It is. Um, what's, what's, what's the deal? I don't know. How many days have we had it on the market now? Um, I want to say a good two months. Oh, I think we're closer to 90 days now. Yeah. yeah okay. Been... So 90 days. So, um, so to be so kind of set the stage, this this listing went on the market while it was a hardcore seller's market. Absolutely. Right? The seller, who by the way is an investor, it's an investment mm -hmm. property for him, uh, was hoping to sell it at you know top top dollar, which is what sellers were getting when this house actually went on the market, or it's actually a townhome. Yes, and it didn't really matter like at the time like what the condition was. Didn't have to have a tenant. Didn't have to, or have it could have a tenant, or anything like that, and it would have it would have sold. But right now, it's still, um, regrettably, just sitting. Well, it's available, right? I mean, somebody could buy it. Yeah, that's true. What? What? So when he put it on the market, we were pretty confident he could sell it pretty quickly. But he did something specific that really threw the brakes on. Yes. Something that we didn't even know about until until it was too late. Yes. We could, we couldn't even advise him on whether he should or shouldn't do it, or even what the pros and cons of doing this was, and what did he do? Uh, he extended the tenant's uh, lease till the next year. So, um, yeah, we, so now, now we have a long-term tenant. Yes, yes She's we do. She's in there for a year. Well, now it's, what, nine months, but eight yeah. months. Yeah, close to it. Uh, I mean, we do get showings for it. Um, it doesn't get until the point of after the showing where uh, the agent will come up and say, oh, I didn't realize that the tenant was gonna be there until July. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pass. So that's a struggle that we have right now with uh, this current listing that we have. Yeah, so I think I think this listing, it's important to understand the price point. What's it listed at? $230. $230. Average sales price in Vegas today is $465, mm -hmm. right? So it's well below the average price. So much of uh, all of the homeowners in town could, could probably buy the property, right? I yeah, mean, it is in absolutely. a price range where... Mm -hmm people could actually get into it fairly easy, lower down payment. It's probably, probably an FHA property with a three and a half percent down. So could be, you know, yeah. seven or $8,000 would get them in. Uh, here, here's the real challenge though. Here's what I think many people don't understand is that we have an investor that owns a property and he, why did he buy it? When an investor buys a property, why do they buy it? They're trying to do what? Make their money? Yeah, they're trying to make money. Yeah. I know it sounds like a really tough question, but the no. truth is they're just trying to make money with it. So when Juan bought the property, by the way, we sold him this property four or five, maybe even six years ago. Um, he bought it as an investment, and mm -hmm. he intended to rent it out for four or five years and then sell it. We call that a buy and hold, by the way. He bought it. He holds it over a period of time, hopes that the equity grows in the property. He can collect some rent. Uh, and then make some money that way, mm -hmm. and then sell it. And um, the plan was going really well for him because the market had gone up substantially. Uh, I won't tell you what he paid for the property, but it was definitely well below 100 grand. Um, so he had a lot of money in it. He had mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of equity that he could make on it, and he had the right plan to get it sold. Um, and then he, I won't say fell in love with the tenant, but I mean the tenant has been so good that mm -hmm. he wanted to make sure she didn't feel like she didn't have a place to go. So he extended her lease and uh, that's really kind of squashed our ability to sell it. And many of you are thinking, well, why? I don't understand why that it would even matter. I mean, some people want to buy an investment property that mm -hmm. has a tenant in place with a solid lease, knowing they're going to get rent over a period of time. Well, two things happen. One is when he renewed the lease, he didn't bring the rent amount up to the fair market value. No. And so when you have a rent amount that's below fair market value, but you're trying to sell a house that's well above, you know, the, the price is the top of the market, then you don't get that return on investment that you're looking for, mm -hmm. right? Everybody needs a return on investment and they're always looking for a specific percentage. And with that price being so high and with the rent being so low for an investor today that might want to get in and make some money, it's not really a property that makes a lot of sense. It doesn't make sense to them, yeah. It's more of a homeowner. Like yeah. a, a somebody is going to buy that property, is going to occupy it. Mm -hmm. But what's our challenge there? Uh, FHA? Long-term tenant. You can't. Right? 
Well, that's true too. So what about the 60 day rule? I mean, that's really what the challenge is with people who are going to be moving in. Um, 60 day rule. So FHA, VA, which by the way, are the two uh, loan programs that you can use that get you in for the least amount of money. And when we're talking about a house, that's about half of what the average sales price is. The buyer is likely to be somebody who doesn't have a bunch of free cash sitting in a bank mm. and they need to try to get in as, as inexpensively as possible. Mm -hmm. So three and a half percent down or even some of the VA stuff is zero percent down, right? Mm -hmm. They can get in. But if you use that kind of program, you must occupy within 60 days. Mm -hmm. They're not investor type yeah. loans, right? Mm -hmm. So probably can't sell it to a uh, homeowner, someone who's going to be living there, an occupant, because... Mm -hmm they don't have enough cash to get in, can't sell it to a current investor because there's not the return on investment mm -mm. that uh, that you could get. I mean, some of you are thinking, well, why don't I just, just buy it and raise the rates, raise the rent, right? Well, you can't do that in Nevada. Can't do that either. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, 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 the laws in the state of Nevada are pretty protective on, for tenants, and so you can't just arbitrarily raise the rate. You have to honor the lease that's in place mm -hmm. until the lease ends. Yeah, so that's there's, kind of our double-edged sword there, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a the buyer pool, once he extended that and needed to make all the money, mm -hmm. you know, once he did that, that really kind of shrunk our buyer pool. And so, yeah, we're, we're struggling to find that right buyer. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get us wrong. We're still getting calls on it. Uh, so we know the price is correct. Um, but it's just w when it comes down to it, the other uh, factors is what our challenges are right now uh, in our market. So... Um, that's kind of a, a bit of a struggle, but nothing we can't handle on it. Yeah. So like we've talked about before and in some of our other videos, you know, look, we recommend at a high level that anything that you plan to do while you're buying or selling a home, you should be discussing that with your agent. Um, if you're on the sales side and if you're on the buy side, you should be discussing things with your agent and with your lender. Yeah. Because there are certain things that you can do that will kill the deal. Mm -hmm. And in So many case, things. That's another video, though. Yeah, that's another. That's, a, that's an hour long conversation, right? So, yeah, we we want you to make sure you're getting good information. Make sure you're consulting with someone who's been through that uh, world before, someone mm -hmm. who understands what the possibilities are, and uh, make sure that uh, you make a good quality decision on what you're really trying to do. Like, what is your goal? Mm -hmm. And here's how we can put a pathway or a, a strategy together to actually get you to your end goal. Yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. what are we going to do to get it sold? What are we? What are we going to do to get it sold? Well, we're going to keep advertising. We're going to keep doing what right. we do. We're going to do what we do. What the Barton Real Estate Group does. I think we get things closed. Houses are just like cars, right? There's an ask for every seat in the car <laughs> business, right? I think there's somebody for every house, and we'll find somebody that that house fits for, and and we'll get it sold. Yeah, absolutely. Take, take a little more time than we're mm -hmm. used to. We'll, we'll find the right buyer for it. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, thanks for watching.